Hello, I'm John Lucas, founder and president of the Okapi Conservation Project. This summer begins our 35th year of partnership with the government of the Democratic Republic of the Congo to protect and bring value nationwide to Okapi. Okapi are the national animal and symbol of the country's unique wildlife and vibrant rainforests, a globally important resource for all humankind. I remember our trip in June of 1987 to Upulu from Kinshasa, capital of then Zaire, like it was yesterday. Carl and Rosie Roof, Steve Scherter, and Karen Ziegler, and Jean Lamba and myself traveled in a rickety Russian transport plane from Kinshasa across the thousand miles to Goma on the eastern side of the country. In Goma, we assembled our convoy to bring our materials to start the project. We traveled along the foothills of the Ruanzori's north for five days, then due west into the rainforest. We eventually reached our base, the abandoned Apulu station in the center of the forest. During 1987, our first year in Apulu, we laid down a foundation of cooperation and resolve that eventually led to the creation of the Okapi Wildlife Reserve in 1992 and a recognition as a World Heritage Site in 1996. The Okapi Wildlife Reserve is 13,800 square kilometers, about one and a half times the size of Yellowstone National Park and contains mostly untouched rainforest. Every year, day in and day out, of the past 35 years, our brave team has been on the ground in this politically unstable country, working to find a balance between the needs of Okapi and the needs of people that are mutually beneficial. With the support of several generous donors, we provided each staff member in DRC an extra month's salary as a thank you for all their hard work, dedication, and bravery working to help conserve Okapi in the wild is only because of the steadfast support of our donors, the dedication and bravery of our staff, and our partnerships with ICCN, Wildlife Conservation Society, the German Biodiversity Fund, that we have been able to persevere and stabilize and even at times improve the conditions Okapi needs to survive and thrive in the Aturi Forest in Northeast Democratic Republic of the Congo. Okapi faced many threats from poaching to mining, and is support from you, our donors, that the rangers and OCP staff depend on to forge good relations with communities that inform protection and improve stewardship of forests. Thank you for caring about one of the most mysterious animals that lives in the darkest reaches of the African continent. With your support, Okapi will continue to live in the rainforests of the Congo Basin as they have for over six million years. As we look forward, we know we will face many challenges and difficulties which are inherent to the place where we work. But our seasoned and experienced team is ready to navigate the unpredictable political landscape to carry out our programs. Informing, educating, and helping communities is the basis of which we strive to improve the survival of copy in the wild. Our team works tirelessly to engage the people of DRC to value Okapi, the symbol of their immense diversity and globally important rainforest. When Okapi are safe, people of DR Congo and the world benefit from the rainforest role in mitigating climate change and stabilizing weather patterns across Central Africa. Thank you for supporting our team, assisting the people of the Aturi Forest in caring about a future for Okapi in the wild.